Kia rojo me disha kali na lele botsela marena jesto ke rojo me lang ke le amoka jika ra ma khadi channel le na no la gola ma marata o ska wala bala le ma mohlale re tlo kwa tshe dintshi ei ke taba di ona mo polofeta selesia ha shalele morago o gona ka update o gona ka prophecy a deep 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 prophecy from god e long gore o bolela ka obama hmm o bolela ka tshe di tlo diragalang tse o re tlo di bonang ka mahlo tse o re tlo di witnessang tse e long gore di tlo tlhagela monna o o e leng gore ga se motho hmm gore re tlo bona me ka le mehlolo e diragala prophecy ye a bolelang ka yona e ya monna wa gore o tlo explode wa tseba king a sa thunye ke selo go bana gona le nthwe e leng gore e gona ka re ga hloya wa go mme di ngaka di tlo leka ka go tle go tle go leka go phrosha go phloba ga ganthi ba sa tsebe gore mm mm ke nthwe planwe motho o tlo boela bobedi go metlo ba yona the beast ye le re bolelang ka yona go ba ela re kwa ka yona ka mola go revelation 13 hey mwana morena ba tamela be ga o swihle ditaba tshe di tloga di go hloka o tsebe o hloka go tseba gore na re mo kae ka mangwalo re tsama ya mo kae na go nya gona jwale e re ga dire ga di revelation tshe o ska wa mphitsala le go makala e be le gore modimo o re update le nako e sa le gona ye ke nako ya go tsia modimo serase le go batamela pela ga modimo le gona go ihlohlora go ithukisha go tla ga morena jeso a re tlo thia tsebe re tlo kwa ga mo prophetsa a diala ka botshepegile le bogware bi bogolo go bane ka net yena di filo yena me ga di tlisha o di tlisha ka yena mo go a laetsweng ka gona sa ka lwena ko go dula fase go tsia maele o me ra ithuta ra ba ra bulega mahlo me ra ithukisha o sa subscribe di ra jwalo gore taba tsega ditsena di humane ka nako mo porofeta di a di lehlema mpere la pamelala During the early hours of Saturday, June the 11th, 2016, the Lord God was talking to me about Barack Obama, who is the current president of the United States, and he was telling me that this man is essentially not human. The Lord kept referring to him as an empty shell. He also kept referring to him as an a complex program that nevertheless has nothing within it. So that seems to be paradoxical. Paradoxical. How can something be a complicated program and at the same time you say nothing is on it? Isn't the very fact that it's a complicated and complex program means that there must be tons of data written in there. But the Lord said that this is not a real real person as you are real, but a program that is easily disposed of when the usefulness of that program is spent. So when the time comes when a thing is perhaps not needed anymore, um then the usefulness of that thing will be done away with. And God says don't always see people out there. It's telling me just like a father warning his child, don't go with bad boys. Don't follow that type that your friends follow. He was telling me, don't just see everybody walking around alive out there and have a mindset that because you see them alive, because you see them taking meals, because you see them walking around like you and making decisions in life like you. He said no. This was a strong emphatic no. They are not people. These are essentially what you call clones, programmed and created to smile and wave and talk and cry. But there is absolutely nothing reminiscent of a person meaning true humanity within them. There is no presence of humanity or a soul present inside these things. And this is what the Lord was saying in regard to Obama and I guess by extrapolation, the millions and millions and millions of empty shells empty warm bodies that are walking around that's where the demons are going to live that's where they're going to come in to the complex program that nevertheless has nothing occupying remember what i spoke about recently saying that when the unclean spirit is looking for a place to dwell as soon as it sees that the house is empty it is going to come in and so i was very surprised to hear the lord say that but he did not stop there he said that obama essentially has been created with his destruction programs into him His destruction is programmed into him and the person the Obama that you see walking and talking around will eventually self-destruct publicly one day right in front of our eyes and people will be scandalized surprised in many cases angry hurt and bitter and in some cases overjoyed and relieved when they see him self-destruct now please hear this is the part that I said at least seemed complicated for me may the lord give me grace now i'm looking and god showed me an image to clarify what he meant he meant i saw what looked like a small metal disc inside a human skull traveling at great speed this thing the best thing that i can uh the best thing that i can and link it to or compare it to is 
a saw blade, you know, the spinning saw blade, the one that is a circle, it, it's a disc, and then it spins at the end of the saw, and then if it comes off, right, if it was to come off, it would be a very dangerous projectile, right? It would be flying, and that thing would go spinning. It's a very flat circle. It would go spinning, and it would be very, very dangerous. I saw something small like that inside a human head, and it was traveling at great speed. But in order for me to catch it, the image that God was showing me was greatly slowed down. It was very slowed down. So what I saw was a precise step-by-step -step picture in some, instead of something that just flashed past me. I saw a flat gray metal disc that looked almost like a skipping stone that children play with. And it was moving at top speed inside the human skull. And it moved exactly along the line where there seemed to be locked bones connecting the head to the body. The disc moved along that connection and it severed the jointed portion between the top and the bottom of the skull. And it exited the skull at the base at some unknown point, an exit point that I couldn't see because God was showing me almost like CSI from inside the head. So I saw the disc inside the head and it was traveling from the front where, where the face is towards the back and it exited the back of the head. After this image, the Lord continued speaking and he said, inside the, spe the seed, inside of a Barack Obama is the seed of his own destruction. And as the Lord said that again, I saw the flat disc fly out suddenly through the skull and exit at a certain point. Now, please listen to this. The Lord spoke to me and said that Obama is going to be shot at some point in the future. This is many years ago, okay? This is July the 11th, just a few weeks before he would he would pass the LGBTQ law and say that their marriage, same-sex marriage is legal and everything like that. So God said that at a point in the future, um, Obama is going to be shot. Now, this is almost 10 years ago that the Lord said it which just proves to people that I don't set dates here. I give the information here, but God is the one who fulfills timing. And he said that when that happens, America is going to erupt into pandemonium and all kinds of things and race divisions, race divisions and race hatreds that he says already run so deep in the United States will have their fullest expression, which is the same thing that the Lord has said in more recent years about when President Trump is assassinated and loses his life. God says that very wild things will happen when that happens and black and white will be caught up in term, turmoil and pandemonium when this man loses his life. But here's the image that I saw. I saw Obama standing in a dark suit, might be black, might be navy blue, and he was standing at a podium making an address. I do not know if the podium was here in the United States or if it was outside of the country. So I don't know where he was making the speech, but I just know that he had a, a, a massive, massive audience and he was making a speech. And then I saw, I, Celestial, saw that at the back of Obama's head, something exploded outward from his skull as if a bullet were exiting out of the back of his head. So I'm not an expert on when people get shot, but I guess if you get shot here in the front of your shoulder, obviously, if it's a clean shot, doesn't hit bone, the bullet's going to come out of the back of your shoulder. And that means out of the back of your shoulder, the exit wound is going to be kind of puckered like this outward, showing that something came in and then went outward. Well, I saw an eruption at the bottom, at the back of Obama's head, as if a bullet were coming out of his head. The bullet exited at such high speed, right? That in, unlike President Kennedy's head, which suffered massive, massive trauma because his wound was at close range. The wound that Barack Obama suffered was a very small, neat wound, almost like military sniper precision wound with a very minimal exit explosion. So the entire back of his head didn't open up. It was just, it was exactly like this, thoop, thoop, like that. It was like a watermelon being shot with such a precise weapon that only a small squirt of blood came from his, his head at the back. And then he started to fall. However, in this vision, God put me in front of Obama and put me behind Obama. So Obama was standing at the podium and there was a version of me standing in the front of the podium observing him and a version of me standing at the back just behind him. And what I saw was that nothing struck this man. Nobody fired a weapon on him. No bullet came from the crowd or from the side or from the stands. Nobody shot him. Nothing was shot at him. No weapon was fired. Instead, God put the knowing in me. Do you remember the little disc that I showed you that is in the back of his head? The disc that was already inside his head was activated and it came whipping out of his head through the back and it killed him instantly. The disc cut cleanly through everything in his head and it shot out the back of his head near the base of his skull. Now hear the word of Yah. He said, of course, they will bring him back. Of, of course, 
they will revive him and bring it back. And God began to tell me exactly what they will say. And the benefit on this channel for you is that you will hear it here first. When it hits the TV with a little breaking news, America, breaking news, America, unless you are highly disingenuous, you will not be able to say that you didn't hear it. The problem will only be, did you believe it or not? God said, of course they will bring him back. They will say it was tough. You're going to hear the news footage say it was touch and go. And we were fighting to save his life. But he says they're going to claim that a new medical technology saved him. There's a new medical technology that saved him. We have saved the president and brought him back. But God says, know, when that, know that when he is brought back, you are only staring at the image of the beast. You are looking at a replica of what wasn't even a real human being to begin with. Do not be deceived. This is the beast of whom it was said, the beast that was and was not. The head that was slain and yet lived. And now let us look at Revelation 3 and 13, which I said I was going to read. I'm reading it now. And I saw one of his heads as if it had been mortally wounded and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world marveled and followed the beast. So a mortal wound is going to be struck to ex-president Barack Obama. It is going to seem as if he was assassinated. It's going to seem as if he was struck in public. It's going to seem as if another shooter on another grassy knoll, this time in a stadium or at some grand address, hurt him. But as I saw in the vision where God put me in the front and behind him, nothing happened to him. Nothing happened to him. The back of his head simply exploded with something that was implanted there already. And the Lord said, know that after that, that your tribulation has come upon you. Know that your tribulation is upon you and that you must do everything possible to preserve your own life by walking in holiness and complete obedience to my Holy Spirit. Because you will indeed see these things come to pass. You will indeed see the beast rise to take his place in power. And so... Um, that's what the Lord has told me. That's what the Lord has shown me. The process of recreating what looks like life is, but is not life, is basically what the image of the beast is talking about. And we should understand what images are. You're looking at an image of me right now. I'm not actually still sitting here. Whenever you get this on your phone, your device, your tablet, whatever you use, you're looking at an image of Celestial. I'm not actually here. I was here at the time I'm recording, which has been for nearly two hours. It's now 6.33 here in New York City. But you're looking at an image of me. I'm not really here. And so this is what the future is going to be like. You're going to be shown things that are not real. I shared an old dream where I was telling people that I saw to my shock that people collected they collected hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours of me talking. And obviously all my mannerisms are here in these videos, the way I speak, my various inflections, how I look. And what they did was they were able to manipulate video footage of me to where I was saying things that I never said in real life. Um, a man and his wife did that. They took video footage of me and they used some kind of AI software and they twisted and perverted some words that I said so that I was saying things that I've never said. And we already see the blunt force objects doing that quite a lot now um, without the software. The manipulation and the perversion of what I say is coming out of their mouths. But God will take care of that in his own time. But people have access, maybe they will invent it or maybe it exists already, to some kind of sophisticated AI software that can show a person saying things and doing things that they never said and did. Which is why God always tells us that the beast system will be what? It will be extremely deadly because they can basically concoct tape of you speaking against the government when you were fast asleep and you had no idea that people were making false tapes of you to get you falsely arrested and executed because you are an enemy to them or maybe you possess something maybe you have a farm that they want maybe you have a daughter that they want maybe you have a job a position in that future world that they want they will be able to bring out false image and so this is what the lord was saying that know that when we see this man fall they're going to tell us he's fighting for his life right now america this is a tense moment ex-president yes and they're going to say that he's fighting for his life uh, but he's not they're just going to bring some brand new version 